Hi guys, Charlie here with Daniel, Henry, Michael McDonald, Brian Wilson. And didn't I can miss a brunga kabog, Paco Lord. And we're not gonna be thirsty today because we have lots of sugar cane. And we're ready to do some slashing and some dicing. So hopefully we don't chop anyone's legs off. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, boy! thing about sugar cane is like when you chop the top off here like so you can replant it you can take this bit off and then you just replant this and this will turn into a fresh big plant like one of these the closer to the roots you go the more important the sugar cane is so the harder it is the better the sugar cane is. also you got to be careful because the leaves on the sugar cane is quite itchy The good thing is, before we came here, we bought some long sleeves, so we're all covered. You know, it may be even hotter with long sleeve, but we are covered. We're not as itchy in this area. So thank you, Ukai Ukai, for providing us with uh, styling. As you can see, I've customized to look very stylish. Um, one thing they also told us is to wear um, pants and shoes. If you look down, I ignored that piece of advice, which I'm kind of regretting now because I've got ants all over me, and they're like eating me alive. You can actually see when you're chopping it, you can see water moisture, come out or the moisture coming out. That's the goodness coming out. You never go thirsty in a sugar cane field. Because there's so much juice inside one of these plants. But the hardest part is trying to peel it. It's actually very dangerous to use these bowler knives as well, so you have to make sure when working as a group that you're quite um, far away from each other, because if not, you could be missing a, a toe and you won't even realise it. That's just off my t-shirt, or my long sleeve. So I'm gonna eat the man. I feel like the sun and I look like one too with this neon colour. tiring as it is because of the sun, the heat all, all over you, where you're sweating out, you know, all that energy where you're trying yeah. to thrust. The trick is try not to get the knife in too deep because it gets stuck into the sugar cane like that and that's what you don't want. And you have to have good wrist strength. It seems I'm a natural with the ball though, so just keep peeling that, look at that. That's precision. This is so hard peeling it. I wish I had one of those peeler things that you use for the potato. That would be really good. But you know, this is what we have. Oh my gosh. From that long uh, root, I was able to get this much out of it. Uh, usually more if you're more experienced with peeling it, but peeling it is very hard. So you just bite it into it. Look, I got more than Miko. I got. Want some? And it tastes like sugar. There you go, sugar cane. Harvesting sugar is very important because um, it's one big uh, export in, in Negros and it, it is one of the biggest drivers of the economy here. So it, it is a way of life and uh, a source of funds for half the people here. So it's very important. Remember where your sugar comes from, guys. Ah, so bang set up. I could have done that for commercial. <laughs> Woo. I feel like I'm gonna faint. There's not enough water in the world to uh, to uh, rehydrate me, in a man. How about Charlie? How are you feeling? Pretty good. So bang my head up, talaga. But I really, really enjoy it. Right. My head up, talaga. Pero it's okay if you get thirsty because you can just like chop a root down and get the juice out of it because it is so hot man it's midday we're meant to be wearing long sleeves but it's just too hot I feel like I'm sweating it out and getting more dehydrated yeah, we've only done this for a few hours and they're doing it for weeks and they and they're doing the whole field 
so I've got a lot of respect for them. So now we're done, because obviously we weren't harvesting anymore, we were just plain destroying. That's right, because it actually gets very difficult because you get these hairline splinters in your hands for when you uh, hold the sugar cane and chop it, and then it gets very irritating and difficult. Like, I didn't realize how hard it would be just chopping. It's really, really hard. Yeah, so we'd like to say thank you to the people of Barangay Kabuk for letting us come here and chop up their field. Yeah, that was our episode, guys, so we hope you enjoyed it. Remember, share, like, and subscribe. It's your support that keeps us going. So till next time, peace out! Behind every great sugarcane slicer is me.